Welcome to Norwegian Modeling Bench. This is Kenneth and this is the 23rd installment on the CV6 build. So today I am addressing the guns or the armament of the CV6. Uh, quite a few uh, different types that I will be building. Uh, just a disclaimer, I'm not showing each and every part of the gun. Uh, so each of the PE part and so on. Uh, but at least you will give, be given an impression of how I built these. So please enjoy. First out is the 5 inch single gun. And this is the gun that has the most different parts of uh, the different uh, guns that uh, you will be building if you're using the Pontos set at least. And again, I selected to use the Ponto set. I have been trying to look at which armament wa that was on the ship in um, in forty two uh, in uh, during Midway, and I haven't really found a good source for uh, the different types and numbers and so on. So, well, I hope that Pontos made their research well and that uh, I have the different types that is required. Well, regardless, I think it's a good addition and uh, well, the people I know at least that will be looking at this doesn't really know the different types anyway. So that at least is my point of view on that one. So there are a lot of tiny PE going on on these and I have probably been assembling like 40 plus parts on this gun and I elected to uh, not install some of the minor ones which I th thought at least were not going to be very visible or give uh, that much of an extra detail to the existing parts. So. I think it's a wise idea at least to select and make sure that you install the parts that give the most of the impression of the gun and, um, and then really omit the ones that are too tiny or too fiddly or doesn't really give the impression that you want. So, well, that is at least my point of view. Um, so I guess I have omitted like 10 parts uh, from the instructions from Pontos on this one and well when you can look at the result afterwards it's not very apparent that those are missing so I don't think it's uh, too much of a um, well trade-off. So as you can see uh, there, there are resin parts there are um, brass parts and uh, those uh, gun barrels are really nice. Um, using, of course, CA to, um, to glue the parts uh, together, uh, both regular CA and thin CA. And then, of course, uh, it is uh, painting these up. And in this context, it would be good to have them in light gray because all details would be more visible but uh, well since I am using uh, the measure that I am then of course it will be navy blue um, which kind of uh, some of the details will will be harder to see but but still uh, it would be a bit strange having gray uh, haze gray guns uh, on on the ship when I've already um, I'm already using measure 22 um, for uh, the Bofors guns that I will be showing later on I definitely um, wanted to give some extra details I think those are just uh, very well can I use the word beautiful well I think they are uh, of course there are guns but still uh, the details and the way they look uh, I just, something about them in my opinion at least uh, so for those I did uh, add some extra color to um, 
the, to black uh, the black color for uh, for the, the blast bag kind of I'm not sure what the, what the name is it's like a balg in Norwegian it would be, it would be called um, and uh, then to uh, to the cooling wires and um, then also the gun barrel tip uh, which I painted up in silver color or more like a steel color. So I'm I'm not talking that much about what I'm doing here because it's just a lot of fiddly PE work and one of these guns took like one and a half to two hours to build. So multiply that by eight and you have quite a, a lot of hours. And this is the end result after priming. So I think it yeah looks good. And then it's the 1.1 inch quad gun. Uh, it will be added to the bow. Uh, not that many uh, details going on, mostly resin parts and some minor PE. Um, there is of course a debate as well. If it was a 1.1 uh, in the time period that I am addressing, but okay, this is what I've got and um, we'll be adding um and well there's only one of these uh, so it's uh, not too much of a hassle building just one and as you can see there are not that many many pe parts either uh, but uh, the detailing on the resin parts are very nice i i would say so and quite an easy enjoyable job in between the others uh, and make sure that you test out these barrels before uh, doing too much as you could see I had to drill out uh, some of the holes uh, to make sure that I could fit the barrels and then adding the barrels and then using just a tiny bit of CA glue to get them to adhere to the resin part but not stick so you can adjust them uh, before you attach them with more CA so they're really attached. Uh, so that's the way I'm working with both this one and with the Bofors. Uh, the Bofors are quite fiddly when uh, trying to align the, the barrels uh, because you have two different um, positions and then you have four barrels in total that you need to line up. I'm not saying I've done a 100% job but at least that is a way to to go with these and here you can see the the final result when um, it is all primed up ready for painting so then the next up is the Bofors the 40 40 millimeters and this is uh, a veteran model um, part which uh, is uh, isn't very well documented in the instructions from from Pontos. I think it was like four pictures, uh, which gives you uh, an understanding of how to to um, to add like twenty parts. So it's not very uh, very good on on that one. I don't know why they they uh, didn't uh, go the entire way uh, adding instructions for these uh, but uh, okay it, it's quite um, quite easy to see where the parts are going but still a bit more of the sequence so at least if you're a first timer it's not that difficult to add because the sequence here is quite important in, in terms of how easy it is to to work with uh, the, uh, the the gun itself uh, when adding those tiny details and, and so on. And then, as you can see, I added the back part of the gun and then added the barrel barrels afterwards. Again, using just a tiny bit of CA first to adjust the barrels. And then when the barrels have been adjusted and aligned, then I'm uh, really gluing them down. So um, it's a bit easier to uh, to work on uh, on the alignment. And I'm sorry about my hands are getting in the way here, but I think you can see at least how I address the alignment uh, 
uh, part of it just a tiny drop of ca and then uh, adjusting and then uh, when it, you have the adjustment that you would like and the alignment that you would like then add uh, more ca so it sticks for good and then we have the railing here on the back side and this didn't really fit that well uh, the, the, the railing itself is a bit too long so it doesn't fit with the platform the resin platform I don't know if this is a mistake from uh, either Pontos part or Batron models part I've not seen that before but uh, at least for this one there was a um, a mismatch of the length but not very visible uh, when it's all the, all um, painted up and and so on so here you can see and i didn't add those panels in the front because you have all of those nice details in the front and i just wanted to have them visible uh, if it's prototypically correct well maybe not but still again it's um, something to look at um, and gives the model a bit of interest and here i am painting up the, the tip of the gun barrel with a bit of silver color and um, also then uh, adding the black color to uh, to the end part of the of the barrel and those uh, cooling uh, liquid cooling uh, lines for for the barrel which sticks out on the side so at least that gives a, a bit more than just a monochrome scheme and then it's the oil guns I elected to go with Bunkers, Bunker Studio. Um, those are 3D printed parts, uh, 3D, 3D printed uh, guns, uh, which you need to remove from the 3D supports, of course. Uh, so that's the most tedious job with this one. But uh, the details on this, these are really, really good. And they are to scale. Um, I did make or all four options, so the kit, the Pontus one, Bunker and KA, and um, well the kit, not that good, Pontus actually very, very good, uh, Bunker uh, ab ab above all of these options, and KA was a really big disappointment as you can see in the background there. The, the barrel is too big and the details on uh, the rivets or what you should call them on the, the shields are just way too exaggerated. Uh, and I don't know uh, the, the, the aim and so on isn't, isn't really correct. So um, a bit of a disappointment because in the beginning I was thinking that I were going with the KA parts, but uh, nope. That wasn't too nice. And then, of course, adding black to those barrels. And then we have all the armament ready to be installed on the ship. So, that's it for today. I hope that you liked this video as well. Uh, please uh, provide comments. Uh, please like and subscribe. And uh, as always, stay safe until next time.